everybody, it's Andy with LightenUpAtShoot.com, and today I have a great Photoshop tutorial for you. I'm going to be focusing on blown skies. Why blown skies? Because it happens to everybody, whatever the situation. Overcast day, like this, this cold day in Ireland, uh, you're shooting into the sun, your flash isn't powerful enough, whatever the reason, I'm sure you have one, two, ten photos in your uh, archive that has blown skies and it would look a lot better if it didn't have those blown skies. So let me show you a quick way that I use in all my retouching work uh, to fix this. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is uh, make a copy of the background layer. I always do this so I have a reference to the original file and I do that by hitting Control J or Command J on a Mac. Once that is done, I'm gonna go over to my quick selection tool, which W is the shortcut and the way this tool works, let me zoom in here so you see what I'm talking about. That was weird. If it was blue already, but it's not. Okay. Uh, the way this works is simple. You see how I have my brush here? It's got a little plus in the middle of it. That means I'm adding to the selection. So all I'm going to do is click and drag. But the trick to this tool is that I can actually tell Photoshop what I want it to select and what I don't want it to select. So once I start my little selection here, I'm going to hold the Alt key. See how it turns into a minus? And I'm just going to drag it around everywhere that I do not want Photoshop to select. I'm just going to try to help it out a little bit and tell it, you know what? All these colors that I'm touching, please do not select going to try to do as good of a job as it can. Uh, this isn't perfect, but it does do a very decent job, and especially uh, for the quickness that this uh, tool brings to it. So once that is done, uh, all you do is click and drag, and you see that Photoshop has listened to me uh, pretty well. Not all 100%, especially down here. Let me zoom in. And you're going to see that I have a little bit of spillage here. So all I'm going to do is go back to my brush tool uh, and oops I'm gonna hold the alt key and I'm just going to tell it hey thanks for the try but just shoot these little marching ants back a little bit further and try to find a path down there okay I'm not too worried about perfection uh, there's a million ways to create selections guys this is just one that works for me extremely fast uh, you know, and for sake of demonstration, it's more than enough. Uh, but I will be having more advanced tutorials, uh, you know, using calculations, which I love to use in the channel section, a whole bunch of other stuff. But for now, this is more than enough. Okay. Once that selection is made, I need to go down here to my little layer adjustment circle. And I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go to Selective Color, which is my first choice from the bottom. Once I click on Selective Color, you're going to see that it creates a brand new layer and a mask automatically. Now, if I hold the Alt key and click on the mask, it'll show me the mask. And a quick rundown on masks, anything that is black is going to be hiding the effect. Anything that is white is going to show the effect. So when I do my Selective Color adjustment, Everything that's in this black area is not going to be seen. Everything that's in this white area is going to be seen. And I can polish that by using, you know, black brush or a white brush. All right. Once that is done, my selective color panel is here. I have my colors, reds, yellow, green, cyan, blue, blue, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And these are the colors that I'm going to control or I'm going to change. And the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black the, with these sliders is the colors that I'm going to add to these colors. One very, very important note is that absolute must be checked for this tutorial uh, or for, this, for fixing these blown skies because I absolutely want to change the color of white. All right. So I go down to my whites. That's very important because all this blown sky is white. And I'm going to go to my cyan, and I'm just going to add cyan. You see how it's adding that cyan? Unfortunately, the sky is not. Hey, everybody. You can check out part two of fixing blown skies at lightenupandshoot.com.